Spencer. And I'm... Um... Nope. And this is The Itch. <laughs> and we're here to talk about Sony selling Sony Online Entertainment. What the fuck? You mean Daybreak Studios. That's right. That's what... I'm sorry. Sony sold them to, I got the name right here, Columbus Nova. And they're now called Daybreak Studios. Why did they sell them? That's a good question. Is it a money thing? or? I think it might actually be a money thing, but I also think it might actually tie into why... I don't know. They did... Uh, what's it called, didn't they? they did. H1Z1. They did H1Z1. So, so Sony Online Entertainment has done games like uh, EverQuest. They did the recent H1Z1, and they did PlanetSide. Yeah. Those are kind of their big staple games. That they had, you know. It doesn't seem like a good policy to create a new game for a, a branch and then just go, all right, you guys out here. Yeah. It doesn't really sell uh, too well. Um, but it looks like from another actual source, uh, it might actually come from the fact that they're moving away from desktop to mobile, oh, so doing... which is the bane of all gamers' existence. So mobile <laughs> gaming is just not but it's one big thing that they're trying to push with this is that they can release their content on Xbox now, which is weird because they didn't really release a whole lot for the PlayStation. I think Planet Side might have come out for the PlayStation at some point. I mean, EverQuest was a big deal, right? Um, but that was the, his main draw was on the PC. They had EverQuest yeah. Adventures, I think, for the PlayStation Two. Yeah, which was cool. Yeah, it's, it's neat. It's uh, neat. They didn't do what's it called? They didn't do Morrowind, right? That was or mm -hmm. not Morrowind, Elder Scrolls, right? Well, something no. you have to consider with them being able to now go to PC is that with uh, well, they, they Windows, always went to PC. Well, with Windows 10 mm. coming out, you're going to be able to play Xbox games on your PC. You're going to play PC games possibly on your Xbox. So it creates that jump into Xbox technically. That's true. But do you think you, you're you're thinking they're going to go the mobile game route? Well, yeah, but but I think the most important thing is flexibility, is what uh, Sony's trying to do. They sold it off to where they can focus on more first-party titles and have their third-party titles run through Daybreak Studios for like interesting online games that are more risky, I guess you can say. Um, <clears throat> maybe more free-to-play games, maybe more uh, buy-to-play type stuff. Um, I mean, H1Z1 is essentially buy-to-play, you know, <laughs> just silly. But um, the fact that they sold it off, like I just don't get it. Like it, uh, Sony isn't n none of the no one who does games right now is like smarter than anyone else. Like right. Nintendo's not smarter than Sony, who's not smarter than freaking Microsoft. But they're all making random things. Last week we talked about um, freaking Nintendo and YouTube. This week it's Sony selling off one of their main since '95. One of their main sources of entertainment for online, obviously. It's only online entertainment. You know, so they also made a weird. game called Champions of Norat for the PlayStation 2, which was really, really good. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> someone's, someone's a closet fan. <laughs> I loved it. It was amazing. Not Good a stuff. huge not a huge EverQuest fan myself. I think the art style is kind of bland. But some the, people got, you know, interested in it. But it is a big game, no yeah. doubt. Um it's it's unfortunate. I actually used to uh, live close to Sony Online Entertainment. Oh. When I was in the military. Um, Miramar is actually right next door. Interesting. So I used to drive there. I was like, oh, you know, <laughs> freak out and stuff when I had a funeral duty. Um, but it's definitely kind of sad to see because you don't want something that was once a <clears throat> first party to shift to third party because it raises a lot of questions. And if it's not handled properly, it can be a bad PR. That's like the same thing with... Um, uh, Wait, was it Sucker Punch who did, uh, what's it called? Obviously he did it, was it that, or was it the guys who did, uh, whatever, screw it, forget it. I'm sorry. I think my fear <laughs> is what's going to happen to their current projects. Not that I'm like a huge follower of theirs, but yeah. they have EverQuest Next that's supposed to come out soon. Are you looking into it? Or? I mean, I'm always kind of looking at the new MMORPGs that come out. Yeah, it's all um, fantasy. <laughs> Just, you know, just to see what they can offer and then, because, you know, whenever a new one comes out, they kind of take what, what they've done and yeah. everybody kind of take gives their spin on it. So I was kind of curious to see where that's going. It's I always... we're not talking about EverQuest Next right now, but I'm actually pretty excited about the, the graphic design, like the artwork, the art style. Mm -hmm. I think it looks pretty dang cool. Yeah. Well, hopefully it doesn't change too much 
when they get a now that they have a new owner and everything like that. Yeah, probably will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Spencer. And I'm Jake Day. And I'm producer Eric. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to this video. We produce new videos every week. Oh, you're like a little doll. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I could have sworn.